How's it going? This is David Hedge of House Hedge Gaming and welcome to Gen Con 2022.
so right now it is about almost 9 30 and i'm hitting the true dungeon from the uh, auction i wasn't able to do the La avatar last airbender uh fire nation rising game because it was completely packed but that's perfectly fine had a good time at the auction and all as i always do but now i'm making this long walk to lucas oil stadium so you guys are coming with me let's do it You can see there's a decent size hallway, but what better way to use it than by putting it in an arcade? All these are cool coin operated games that are throughout. And there's also a vintage arcade located in the convention center. And they do like hourly passes for like 12 bucks. So you can have an hour, relive your childhood, and not lose a bunch of quarters in the process. But you see they have great games like Gauntlet Legends. You got classics like Hydro Thunder. You got California Speed. One of my personal favorites, Primal Rage, because it's dinosaurs and it's a fighting game. Classics like Galaga, Star Wars Trilogy, Arcade, and a lot more. But I'm glad they started putting these in several years ago and it keeps expanding more and more. So if you want to relive those arcade days, this is a good time to do it. Just got out of True Dungeon, and oh my god, Ebony Bay was really cool. Uh, I'm not going to go into full detail because there might be people that will watch this and might be able to go to the event earlier this week, or later on this weekend. I'm tired. 
Uh, but it was really good. A whole lot of fun. I actually want to stop for a sec. Because I'm bouncing around like a jello. Uh, but Ebony Bay was really cool. A lot of fun. And the True Dungeon guys know what they're doing. I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow night. Uh, but that is a wrap for day one of Gen Con 2022. Uh, all in all, a really good day. Uh, had a lot of fun with everything. Got a few demos in. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do the demo for Avatar uh, Last Airbender Fire Nation Rising because of... Uh, unfortunately, it looked like they oversold it, overbooked it, because uh, the four of us, we had our tickets and unfortunately weren't able to get in, all four of us, into a game. Everybody was seated like three each of a copy for some reason. So Sword of the West were able to play. I'll get their, uh, their take on it. Uh, tomorrow and see what's the deal with the game see if it's any good which I'm sure it is it's the op they do really good games uh, but tomorrow uh, another true dungeon uh, got some demos to go to Cindy's got more crafts Sorrel and Wesley got their things going on but most importantly Gen Con 22 is 2022 yeah 22 like I said I'm tired uh, is in full force and is a whole lot of fun uh, and I highly recommend if you're able to get out here at least once if you're a gamer you need to do it. It's it's a great pilgrimage to go on. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. And until next time, stay safe and take care.